to the university like uh, uh, fish to water. And in 1979, he became the first Magna Cum Laude graduate Ooh. of the oh, University of Arizona. Oh, 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 Okay, hurry up, I have 17 minutes of video. <laughs> Soon after graduating uh, Magna Cum Laude, I think Danny was, uh, as I said, uh, he was no longer surprising uh, people. As I said, he was living up to uh, expectations. And uh, uh, he finished his, uh, uh, he got his degree in uh, architecture in 1979. And then he went on to uh, uh, to uh, get his uh, degree in, uh, I think, done in community architecture in, uh, I think, a few years after that, in uh, 19... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there was a question is, uh, uh, how do you explain uh, Danny's uh, phenomenal transformation? Um, my theory is simple, and I think some, somewhere along the way he met up with uh, Neng, the lovely... Uh -huh. Uh, who is also here with us tonight. I met this match. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, through Neng, I think Danny was able to make a, a, a shift from uh, a potential dead beat you know, to a, uh, an achiever. <laughs> 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 became uh, Danny's uh, lifetime mate, uh, the mother to his uh, six uh, lovely uh, kids. We still mate. And, uh, <laughs> 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 of course! <laughs> that, and, uh, that, that's frequent anyway. <laughs> <laughs> which is an achievement in itself, but again... Uh, <laughs> that's not the reason why we're here, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so in 1983, Danny uh, became a uh, full-fledged uh, architect. He, he set up uh, the uh, BA Sylvester and Associates. Take me from the viewpoint. Take me from the viewpoint. And I guess he made uh, the uh, obligatory design for residential housing. But uh, it started it's Danny to be uh, uh, happy with the scene. He kept an uh, yeah. eye on bigger and more important stuff. Uh, he joined uh, the uh, master's program of uh, community architecture in uh, the University of Architecture and he got his degree there in 1991. And uh, meanwhile he was doing a uh, project for the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for uh -huh. Subic Naval Base, Clark Air Base and the U.S. Naval Facilities Engineering Command. And he was also honing his skills you know, as uh, a faculty member. Then he joined the, the faculty of uh, the UP College of Architecture in 1991. And he became a registered professional environmental planner in 1996. Now if you ask me, I don't know the uh, technical difference between uh, an architect you know, <laughs> on the one hand and uh, an urban or uh, urban planner. A uh, environmental planner, on the other hand, uh, it seems to me that uh, an architect designs houses and buildings. That's usually right. What the two that you need to one? Erwin can uh, talk about that. Erwin is a leak. I'm leaking. And then Danny, I guess, uh, the urban or the environmental planner, I think, designs cities and communities. No, it's an urban plumber, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that, that's what makes uh, Danny so, uh, so impressive. Now, uh, Danny has also written an uh, academic uh, paper. Uh, he has 